I see in the public chat a lot that people have trouble with the uh, hard mode survival. So I'm doing it with my friend here, Ben. And we're going to see how we do. I think duo is a little bit harder. Uh, you only have 6,000 health instead of 4,000, which means more, but you have 4,000 solo and only 6,000. So you only get 3k per person, basically. So it's a little bit less than you normally have. And you can lose twice as much health in one go. You can lose in one shot from uh, duo. There we go. I had a pretty decent start. Got to keep my Mustangs. We do lose our tanks on this side. But everything else should be pretty healthy. And of course, I will have every round time stamped if you want to skip around and that sort of thing. I don't know if I can kill these phoenixes over here. Killed one phoenix, that's minus 100 health up here. Oh, I have some crawlers over here going to town. Yeah, my friend is a little bit better than me, so I will be showing his perspective sometimes. Now, this is probably one of the better powers you can get, the Mitchell Device Specialist. Because it makes this right here do 15k, which is pretty good. This is also pretty good, but I don't like spending this money this early on, because I just don't like spending the money. And Heavy Arc Light is actually surprisingly good. But I don't have any Arc Lights, so I'm probably not going to grab it. We got to level up on our Mustang back here and our Crawler. They do have more phoenixes as well. I might go into two phoenixes myself. Phoenixes are really important to have. I'll scooch these over here like this. There we go. <laughs> so the units you're looking for in survival are phoenixes and mustang. Crawlers are actually really good but you want to get replicate with them if you can but i'm going up against uh tanks and arc light so it's kind of a waste of 200 bucks like we look at my friend over here he does have replicate and he's going to be doing very well against these uh fang groups there we go so we cleared my side pretty easy Steel balls are okay. Marksmen are okay. Uh, Phoenix are a little bit better than Marksmen in survival. Just because the enemy has a ton of ground units. Hmm. Kind of want this. There's some more Phoenix down here. We have a Vulcan. A Fortress. Vulcan and Fortress are good. Overlords are kind of bad. Unless you, like, stack them one side, and then they're not bad. But they're not the greatest for uh, rival because the enemy gets really unfair stuff. This is actually really good, but I don't have. I'm not going to wasp because I don't have wasp right now. This is not my side of the field. So what do we got? Some groups on the side over here. Well, in case I ever get uh, storm collars, we'll go storm collar. I do like storm collars. Yeah, okay, we're gonna get this upgrade here. Um, I think we go replicate. Maybe we just go Vulcan. Maybe we just go Vulcan.
I think that should be okay. And then we'll grab this upgrade on Phoenix. Yeah, let's see what my friend's field looks like here. And Stormcaller. Stormcaller is also like, I would say at least A tier. No, unfortunately, my tower is going to get blowed up here, I think. Oh, maybe not. Mm, they do have mechanical rage. These towers, I think, only have 2,000 health. Because uh, Phoenix can one-shot them, and they have 2,300, I believe. So, yeah, I think the towers only have 2,000 health. It would be kind of nice if the towers went up in health every round or something like that. I think the Paralyze is way too strong for survival. There we go. Got our side. Now it's just the crawlers over here. Oh, I didn't realize they had uh, Phoenix left. That's bad. I thought these were my allies. Like, if you get an arc light start and you get the heavy arc light upgrade, it's actually kind of good. Because you can get a level 2 arc light with like 20k health. Uh, Lightning Storm is actually pretty good. But it's kind of early on to be spending 300 bucks. Probably stick incendiary then. Maybe I don't. Because I kind of want to buy these storm colors. I think I don't. I think I go double storm color. Let me go incendiary maybe or electro. Hmm. I think I upgrade these this round. Because they're gonna kill this. And then what I'm debating right now is taking a, a gamer loan to grab another Vulcan. Which I might do. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm dumb. I'm so glad though that I have enough money for it. Alright, what's my friend's side of the field look like? Steel balls, phoenixes, wasp. My bad. Okay, it's a dead rhino. And that's a dead everything of the enemies. percent health and everything is nothing to sneeze at I just don't have the money for it though I think I just take the haste module keep your units as fodder having fodder units is really really good you always want to have something that can take threat okay I think I go range on Vulcans
I don't know if I want to use a field recovery or not here. Hmm. Kind of want to get some rhinos. They're good tanks. I think we do something like this. And then next turn, hopefully they level up a little bit. We can put field maintenance on them and stuff like that. And he's got a bunch of steel balls over here. Alright, we'll see if the Rhino gets any kills. Hmm, got one. Also, melting pot in survival is kind of a throw. I'm not a fan of melting pot in survival. So you're going to want to try to have as thin of a unit set up as you can because you're going to try to tech to at least two or three on each one. But this probably doesn't pertain to very hard because uh, I'm stuck on very hard. Oh, this is really good. Oof. I think I grab it. Range is nothing to sneeze at. Okay, so we have some decisions here. Now, you're gonna wanna try to beat round six without using anything, like uh, a nuke. But it is not a bad idea to use a nuke. Like if I had this set up, I don't think I'd have to bother with it. Those fortresses aren't too bad to kill if you have uh, steel balls that are upgraded but that are behind like crawlers Or if you have uh, you know phoenixes here But this is a melting point with energy diffraction Which is very very scary with what I have but I think we Drop another group of phoenixes. Put it on this side over here. And we grab range enhancement on them. Give them 172 range. And I think I take a gamer loan again. Upgrade our tanks, our fodder. And then upgrade our phoenix over here. That's all I can do. All right, I think that'll be good. Now, I probably should have just gone and grabbed a nuke, but this is being pulled away over here. Otherwise, I would have nuked right here. And you kind of want the nuke to be as close to your units as you can possibly get them without killing yourself. There we go, perfect. Placement is key. All right, that should be my side. Let's take a look at my friends. He's having a little bit more of a struggle. Now, the good thing is, um, this marksman should outpace the fangs. And I do have a Vulcan coming. And I have Phoenix's back here with another Vulcan. There we go. I mean, Phoenix is really, really good, and an extra 12 range, also really good.
Uh, amp core is really strong. Although this is great for shields and killing tech. Hmm. Like amp core though. Alright, what do I want to do? We got some really scary stuff here. We have a level 7 arc light, 27k health. And 8k damage. And it's got 130. We also have a 145 range of M pot. I think I might upgrade these guys with incendiary bombs. Or just upgrade them normally. I think I just normal upgrade them. And then upgrade this Phoenix group over here. Yeah, I don't have anything on my flanks. You should always save a missile for stuff on your flanks. Because if you have the 200%, like I said, it does 15k. Mm, his side looks a little bit harder. Got Marksman. Level 7 Marksman. Got a nice split of my units. Hit the smaller side. Okay, got the good snipes. They walked out of the bubble. Phoenix has killed the arc lights. All right, pretty nice clear over here. This end pot went to his side. His crawler spam is working to full effect and he cleared on his side as well. It's the power of storm colors and replicate with mechanical rage. Okay, this is kind of spooky. All right, what do we got? Marksman with elite marksman. That's dangerous. And 180 meter default. Why do you have 180 default? You don't have anything that's... Hmm. Oh, right. Elite marksman. Duh. Might take Electro Blast here. And then I think we grab Elite Marksman ourselves. Really pump our range up and then upgrade. Just like that. And I think we're good over here. These Mustangs will kill these crawlers super fast. Don't have to worry about it. And I kind of want to deal with this stuff first, so I am going to slow down. Big guy here. Right there. That should do. See what my friend's field looks like. Got Mustangs with Amp Core. Steel Balls versus entire left side. Okay. Now the only downside is my Vulcan did get pulled left, so hopefully my stuff gets up here in time to block. It did. Okay, that should be my side. Let's take a look at his. Ooh, unfortunate. Lost his tower. His phoenixes don't have quite enough. There we go. But it did explode. If this dies, he wins his side pretty easily. There you go. This isn't bad. 
It creates distraction units, which is pretty decent. This is also really good if your towers are dying a lot. I don't really like Orbital Bombardment too much. I'm not really a fan of it at all. I might just take this. Really good to have a distraction units. I kind of want to go double Mustang here. I think I will. And then... I kind of want to get rid of these tanks. Because I want to get range on my Mustangs. I think that'll do. See what my friend's field looks like. What a weird setup. This stuff might come to my side of the field. Yeah, I think it will because of my Mustangs going here than here. This stuff's gonna get pulled over here. Which is not good. Now, other things you can do as well. You can get uh, the range upgrade, which is really good, but it is expensive. Mm, my Phoenix has outpaced everything. Yeah, that's not good. Might have a catastrophic failure here just to do how the stuff ran in weird directions. Now we're gonna have a double tower snipe. Unfortunately, I got pulled aside so my middle was left open, but it's not too bad. My friend has a pretty big lineup that he can take over, clean up the pieces. I need more uh, fodder units soon. So if I can get crawlers or something like that, that'd be really good. Yeah, level four fangs with uh, range, damage, and shields is gross. There's incendiary back, which I think I'll take this time. Upgrade our Mustangs. I think we go fire. Maybe we go electro. This round's always brutal. Because you have stuff like this. Ugh. Disgusting. this yeah this is 19,000 damage this one does 24 which is as much as my rhino now unfortunately these have huge range, and they won't be able to bubble by the time this passes to here. So 
So I think what I do... I do this. And I actually take Photon. Like, I need something to distract. <laughs> no, I can't shoot up on his side, so that's fine. I think I just hold it. The incendiary bomb's not gonna do anything here. Well, the parasitic ammo is really good. Missile strikes kind of bad. So what do we have here? Range. What do you have on my his side of the field? Oh, this isn't bad actually. And these crawlers being upgraded on the side. He's really good at like putting crawlers on the side. I don't flank because I get hyper unlucky and my stuff never levels. I think I go parasite ammo. Put them on these guys. I think I upgrade these. I might even take a loan here just to upgrade everything. good oh this is an pop with a shield it's kind of annoying hopefully my Where my phoenixes go where did my phoenixes go oh, there they are there we go that's down Now the Phoenix is just start cleaning everything up. Uh, as far as abilities go, Smoke Bomb is probably one of the best. There's two abilities that are probably the best. Smoke Bomb, Acid. Oh, uh, Ion is also really good as well. Uh, unfortunately, I am going to lose these Mustangs, I think. We do have some Crawlers, though. Which I think I'll use. Okay. 
and I think I'll use a smoke here actually this is a 125 range melting pot oh it's not bad actually I might hold it for another wave I think I'll be fine actually yeah I think I'll be fine In the case you didn't know, you can crush units by dropping a Vulcan on them. It also works to crush, um, there's no air units. Okay, if they have air units, Vulcan can crush them. Because it slams down and the character model passes through them, which will deal damage to your Vulcan and to the enemy. So if we watch here and these guys don't move, crushed. Ooh, I did get pulled away. It's pretty unfortunate. But we got the snipe off with our phoenixes. Like I said, phoenixes are an MVP unit. Like, you need a phoenix. I think I have three phoenixes. The most I would use is four. Do I have four? No, I have three. Mm, lost my Vulcan, but it should have enough health to get through every round after this. Here's the madman with all his crawlers. And here's Iron Blast. So here's my side, uh, my friend's side of the field. Uh, Anti-aircraft ammo and all that stuff, that's not very good for us, but they only have 193 range, we outrange them. And as you can see, he has a lot of crawlers. Hmm. I wish I could get this. I'm gonna gamer alone here. Take this upgrade, take this upgrade. Okay, how far range this is. They'll walk down to about here. Probably smoke like that and then electro this side. Yeah, looks good to me. This is definitely one of the scarier waves, uh, wave 13. God, this guy's a monster. Now on the plus side, even if we do lose this wave, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. 18. Oh, very nice. Uh, and then how many does he got? One, two. Oh. 
uses the beam to kill the shields. The Electro makes these guys walk forward. So there's not enough of them to kill us. Also, this is the, <laughs> excuse me. This is the best one you can get, but uh, too late. <laughs> I think I just take skip. Upgrade these, just upgrade everything pretty much, um, except buy a nuke. Ooh, wasps. Had one more dollar. I don't want these to take my dudes away, so I'm gonna do this. Uh, that's tough. I think I nuke. Here. That should draw this in. And then for these overlords. I think the problem one's gonna be this guy right here. You're in range already, so I guess we do something like that. Check out this nuke. Good nuke. Absolute chaos over here. I win my side though. Okay, I got the snipe off. There we go. And that is how you beat hard survival. Okay. And here was my setup. I had some rhinos that were just throwaway units. Literally their only job was to survive until Storm collars could kill stuff. The Mustangs could uh, also kill the little stuff as well. Vulcans to take care of fangs. And then very, very leveled up phoenixes. So this is all you really need.
And then for my friend's side of the field, uh, here's his usual setup. He gets crawlers with replicate mech rage, tons of phoenixes uh, with range and elite, and storm crawlers with range. And then he has some mustangs as well with parasite ammo. So I hope this was helpful to people. If you liked what you saw, subscribe.